Blackmagic Design is on an absolute rampage with some of the sales that they have on a couple of the cameras. And I just wanted to talk about that in this video. I haven't really talked Blackmagic cameras recently on this channel. And it just kind of feels weird because that's like how this channel got started. And I still, Blackmagic Design, they, they hold a, a special place in my heart. And I absolutely love Blackmagic cameras. So I just kind of wanted to nerd out and talk about, talk about the cameras and talk about some of the sales that are going on right now because this is just absolutely insane. Speaking of the sales... The first sale ends today, at least as far as I know, on the Blackmagic site, it says the sale ends on May 31st, which is the day of posting this video. So if you're seeing this video afterwards, then sorry that you missed out on the sale. But if you're watching this on May 31st and you haven't taken advantage of the sale and you have the money to do that and you are on the fence or considering purchasing it, then this is your last day to take advantage of that sale. I will leave a affiliate link down in the description below. Listen to that grammar, a affiliate link. I'll leave an affiliate link down in the description below, which will take you over to B&H. That's where I do all of my shopping and they've been a big supporter of this channel. But the sale is on the 6K full frame at $1,575 US, which is absolutely insane when i first saw the the sale was it last week or something like that I, I thought it was a joke because i was like there's no way that camera is that much off like that that's just like an absolute no-brainer well the, it it's real the sale's real at least today so um in, in my opinion it gets an absolutely no-brainer purchase if you're considering getting a black magic camera or getting into this cinema camera world. I've got one on loom from B&H right now, kind of timely with the sale. It's just such a fun camera and it just looks amazing. And I don't, I don't need a ton of hours behind this camera to recommend it because if you have followed this channel for any length of time, you see the playlist on my channel. Like I've got a lot of Blackmagic camera content and I've had a ton of hours and experience behind Blackmagic cameras all the way from, well, I've had the Blackmagic, the cinema camera, the 2.5K, their very first camera they came out with in 2013, I believe. I've had the production camera 4K, which is the same body style with global shutter. The OG Pocket. Wow, I miss that camera. That's probably like my favorite. That's still probably my favorite camera of ever. And I just love that camera. I had the Ursa Mini 4K, which had that same, I believe it was the same sensor as a production camera, which was a beautiful global shutter sensor. I had the Ursa Mini Pro G2, the Pocket 4K, the Pocket 6K, the Pocket 6K Pro. I've had a lot of Blackmagic cameras. So uh, all that to be said, I have zero hesitations on recommending this camera if obviously you have the budget and you're ready to make a purchasing decision. I have zero hesitations on recommending this camera just because I've had so much experience with the Blackmagic cameras. And I think the images coming out of this camera are beautiful. And if you don't believe me, head over to of two lands and Florent will blow your mind with the footage that he captures with this camera. So yeah, it's a, it's a super capable camera. And so like a year ago, I made a video on the pocket 6k pro and I titled it like, I think it was like the, the best cinema camera for the money or somewhere along those lines. And when I made that video, I truly believe that. And, and I encourage you to go check out that video to, to kind of see the reasoning why I thought it was the best camera for the money. And I believe that up until the, the 6K full frame came out. Now, there are a couple of trade-offs that some might find between the Pocket 6K Pro going to the 6K full frame. I think the biggest one is the fact that it doesn't have internal NDs. Now, it certainly would have been cool if they included NDs in here, but I'm not really sure how they would fit them in here. But I'm not a camera designer, so that's not really my area of expertise. So that's kind of like trade-off number one. You know, trade-off number two, I would say, is the fact that it doesn't have ProRes internal. And for some people, that's really important. For me, I say that's really not that big of a deal because Blackmagic RAW is such an amazing codec. I mean, it's, it's right up there with Red Code RAW for me for my favorite codecs to both edit and color grade. But ProRes is important to some people, whether they're selling stock footage or if they are doing a lot of you know freelance jobs for like agencies or something where they just need to deliver the footage and they don't want to have Blackmagic RAW, then there's you know there's there's definitely some validity to that. But for a lot of users out there that are 
doing the edits and stuff in house, then I prefer, I personally would prefer to record in Blackmagic Raw than in ProRes. I just think it's a much better acquisition codec than ProRes because you have so much more flexibility with Blackmagic Raw. So all that to say, I think now the 6K full frame is the best cinema camera that you can get for the money. Now, there's another sale, which is a camera that I've shot on a ton, and that's the Ursa Mini Pro G2. And that's currently on sale for $3,000 off, basically 50% off, which is absolutely insane. Now, it is an older camera, and if you don't have any Blackmagic cameras right now, I don't know that I would recommend going out and purchasing an Ursa Mini Pro G2 because my hunch is this sale is just kind of clear out inventory because I would guess they're probably going to be discontinuing this camera pretty soon if it's not already discontinued. Now, I don't know how long they service cameras and stuff once they've been discontinued and all that stuff, but that's just something to consider. But on the same token, if you are a Blackmagic design production whether you maybe like the house of worship or the company you work at has a bunch of black magic cameras or your production company or if you're a freelancer you're just in a black magic workflow then this is a great opportunity to pick up a brand new ursa mini pro g2 especially if you have a couple already to just add into the mix and purchase one brand new for essentially used market prices and honestly, I don't I don't even know what the used market for or so many pro G2s are right now. But I can't imagine it's it's much different than this sale price right now. So uh if you are currently trying to sell your Ursa Mini Pro G2, then this sale definitely probably a super bummer for you right now. But it's a really good camera. I've shot a ton of projects on it. I had also I made a review on it that I'll link up here in the description and, and all that fun stuff. And the image is beautiful. And black magic images just in general are gorgeous. And I, I personally love how they look. I mean, I think like different sensors have different looks and any camera nowadays doesn't matter what brand it is. They all look really good. It's just a matter of what's important to you with features and the look and hardware and all that kind of stuff. But for me personally, Blackmagic Design is at the top of my favorite image. That and Red. They look different, and I think they're appropriate for different scenarios. But Blackmagic Design, look, the colors are just amazing. Just like right at a camera, like a just a straight color space transform to Reg 709 is immediately a beautiful image. And that's really nice because that makes like color grading workflows for rushes and stuff really easy. So yeah, it's a great camera. I'm not going to go out and tell you to just go out and get one because it's on sale. I mean, yeah, it's $3,000 off, but you will save $3,000 if you don't spend any money. And that goes to, that's, that's the same for the 6k full frame. I'm, I'm less hesitant to recommend this camera because it's a newer camera, newer tech. It's the very beginning of its product life cycle. I, I think, I guess. And with the Pixis coming out, this will be a great B camera to the Pixis for different form factors for different shooting scenarios and stuff. So I have less hesitation. Not that I'm hesitant to recommend the Ursa Mini Pro G2 because I think it's a really good camera. But I am a little more hesitant than recommending the 6K full frame simply because it is an older camera and I don't know how long they're going to be supported from like a repair standpoint and all that. I never had a problem with my Ursa Mini Pro, but I know others have. I know people have had problems with their Aries and their Reds, Sonys, Canons, like you name it. Hardware, cameras, tech, they just have problems no matter what. Doesn't matter what cameras you have, but it is certainly a consideration when getting a camera. But yeah, I'll leave links in the description to pick any of this stuff up, but uh I think this is an exciting year. This is going to be an exciting year for Black Magic Design. Just de like just another hunch, but I think 2024 is going to be a really exciting year for Black Magic Design. We've already seen like the Pixis announced. Hopefully those start shipping here soon. And then the Ursa Sydney cameras, super interesting cameras. I really would love to get one in to test at least the 12K. I mean 17K would be cool, but like I don't even have any lenses 
I don't think that would like really do that sensor justice. But yeah, just a lot of exciting cameras and stuff from Black Magic and I don't know, I just I feel like this is like Black Magic's year and especially with Red getting acquired and Black Magic kind of being like, you know, the the only like privately held camera company out there. It's just like kind of interesting and, and kind of exciting. Like I'm really rooting for Black Magic Design and, and like I've even talked to like some of my buddies and they're rooting for Black Magic Design. So anyways, looking forward to seeing how 2024 pans out for Black Magic Design. Hopefully all really good stuff. I've always been happy with Black Magic cameras and excited to test this camera out. I've got this for a couple more weeks. So um yeah, be on the lookout for some footage and um yeah, I'm really excited for this little combination. But all right, there's like just absolute rambling going on now. So I'm just going to end the video. Peace.